All right. Take a moment, see yourself sitting here. Floor beneath your feet, ceiling above. We're going to grow roots from our feet, grow them down to the floor, down through any basement, into the soil far beneath us. As we grow the roots down, we search around the rocks, around the boulders. Keep on going down until we find the bedrock far below us. And as we find the bedrock, we'll search around until we find the cool, crisp waters far below. The waters of potential, the waters of chaos. And as we put our roots into these waters, we'll slowly start bringing them up through our roots and into our bodies. So with each and every breath, bring the waters further and further up. Bring them up into your feet and into your legs. Feel the cool waters come out up through your legs and into your loins and into your belly. As the waters fill you, feel them cool and crisp running up into your chest and into your head. Feel your body filled with all these waters, these cool, crisp waters from below. And with the next breath, bring them up even further and have them come out of your head and out of your hands and flow back into the earth. And feel these waters moving throughout your body. Now, turn your attention up. You can grow branches up, pull them up through the roofs, up through the clouds, up into the skies, until we can find that one star, that one fire directly above our heads. I'm going to reach up, I'm going to pull down from that star the fires of order, the fires of potential. We go bring these fires down, and let them warm us up as they come down through our hands and come down through our heads. With each and every breath, we feel the fires come down further and further into our chest and into our bellies. Feel the fires mixed in the waters as you bring them down further into our loins and into our legs. Until finally we bring the fires fully down into our feet. Have them mixed with the waters. If you look at yourself, you can see yourself glowing with the powers of the water and the fire mingling throughout your body. Take of these powers, drink deep of these powers and fill your reserves with them. Bring yourself back to your normal center and add just a little more. And enjoy these powers. And when you are ready, push the waters back down into the earth Push the fires back up into the sky. And know that you can always reach down and reach up and pull these energies back into yourselves. But for now, disconnect the waters below, disconnect the fires above. Take a deep breath in, out, once more in, out. When you're ready, open your eyes. Prepare for the ritual. As always, our first offering is to the Earth Mother, you who surround us and support us. We asked last week that you be gentle in the Southwest with the hurricane coming, and you were. So for that, we say thank you. For you bring us weather. You bring us food, you bring us shelter, give us all a place to live and thrive. For everything that you do for us, Earth Mother, accept our offerings. Earth Spirit, accept our offerings. We are here to honor the kingdom. We are here to ask for blessings to return from the kingdom. First, let us hallow our house. that I need to get the silver I forgot to put out. I knew I was getting silver. <laughs> All right. Ah. 
mighty wells we run deep into the earth. You connect us to the ancestors far below. Connect us to the lands of the dead. You are gateways to our past. To you we give this silver. We say the sacred waters flow within us. Sacred waters flow within us. Mighty fires we burn and transform. We send our offerings high into the sky. The shining ones far above. You are a gateway to the heavens. There we go. I got it a bit. To you, we offer you this incense. We say sacred fires burn within us. Sacred fires burn within us. The mighty tree. Your roots run deep into the earth, the wells far below. Your branches run high in the sky. The shining ones far above. We give you water from the wells, we give you incense from the fire. We say, Sacred tree, grow within us. Sacred tree, grow within us. And my house and all of our houses, the light of the water, the light of the fire. Our groves are made full and holy. By the light of the waters, by the light of the fires, our groves are made full and holy. By the light of the waters, by the light of the fires, our groves are made full and holy. So be it. So be it. Now, Call to the gatekeepers. To all of you who have aided us in the past, we call to you once more to aid us. We ask that you join us. We take our messages far and wide. We bring back to us all that we need to hear. We ask that you open the ways between the worlds so that we may travel ourselves. We ask that you watch over us and guard us and protect us as we walk in. All that we ask of you, gatekeepers all, accept our offerings. Gatekeepers, accept our offerings. Now, gatekeepers, join your magic with ours in my house and all of our houses. Let the wells open as gates to the underworld. Let the fires open as gates to the upper worlds. And let the trees be the crossroads between all the worlds, open to our spirits and open to our voices. Let the gates be opened. Let the gates be opened. And now let us make offerings to the kingdom. First, to the ancestors, to all of you of our own families, you who have come before us. We offer you welcome. To all of you of our chosen families, our friends, our mentors, our inspiration, we offer you welcome. And to all of you of this very earth, you were here long before us, we offer you welcome. Come and join us by our fire. Ancestors, first, accept our offerings. Ancestors, accept our offerings. Land spirits. To you, our animal kin, fur and feather, scale and skin, we offer you all. To your plant kin, leaf and twig, stem and flower, we offer you all. To you of the unseen, our house spirit, our land spirits, we offer you all. Join us by our fires. Land spirits, accept our offerings. Land spirits, accept our offerings. And last, the shining ones. To all of you who wish to watch over us that we call patrons and make matrons, we offer you welcome. To all of you of this very land who are here before us, we offer you welcome. 
and to all of you who watch over us but are not known to us. We offer you welcome. Come and join us by our fires. Shining ones, accept our offerings. Shining ones, accept our offerings. Now, if you have any offerings of your own to make, please feel free to make. more the satyr heads prevail and there are no other offerings to be made my kindred we have given to you and we give to you one last time and with this we ask that you receive blessings Mighty kindred, accept our sacrifice. Mighty kindred, accept our sacrifice. And now, kindred, we ask, what blessings do we receive? The ancestors. The ancestors give us Thorazons, the rune of the thorn. It can be defenses, it can also be something like the thorn in your side. So they have spirits, what blessings do we receive? We receive Gabo, the rune of partnership, and gifts and reciprocity. Shining ones, what blessings do we receive? Shining ones give us one good. The rune of joy and happiness. In this case, I believe Thorazon is talking about defense. And the ancestors have our back. Well, the ancestors have our back. The lash spirits are giving in reciprocal fashion. The gods are pushing us happiness. I think these omens are good. Do we accept these omens? We accept these omens. All right. Major and mighty ones, we have given to you, we have heard these omens return. In my waters and in all of our waters, fill our waters with the omens we just heard. Fill them with protection of the Torah signs with Thor. Fill them with the gifts and reciprocity of Gabo. Mm -hmm. Fill them with the joy and happiness of Lunko. Mm -hmm. Fill these waters with the omens we have just heard. Behold, the waters of life. Behold, the peach of our homes. Behold, the waters of life. Now, let's thank all of those who have made us. Shining one, be our patrons and patrons. Be of this very place where you unknown to us. For all that you do for us throughout the days and weeks and all you've done for us tonight. Shining one. Spirits, you are animal kin, you are plant kin, or be you the unseen kin for all that you do for us throughout the days and all you've done for us tonight. Land spirits, we thank you. Land spirits, we thank you. To the ancestors, you, those who are family, your rich children, family view of this very earth. For all that you have done for us throughout the days and all you've done for us tonight. Ancestors, 
Ancestors, we thank you. Gatekeepers, once more, you have aided us, you've opened the way, and you've brought back to us all that we need to hear for all that you've done for us. And gatekeepers all, we thank you. Gatekeepers all, we thank you. Now we ask to join the magic of us one last time in each and every one of our homes. But all of our wells become but water. Let all of our fires become but flame. Let all of our trees become but a tree once more. Let the gates be closed. Let the gates be closed. And last but not least, Earth Mother, you're always around us. We honor you first, and we thank you last for all that you do for us. Earth Mother, we thank you. Earth Spirit, we thank you. And go now, children of Earth, in wisdom and peace, to this great essence.